Uh, I'm going to do our uh, Billy C. TV rating real quick uh, to get that uh, taken care of uh, because uh, I wanted to uh, uh, I wanted to make sure that that we uh, we we did that on Mondays on a regular basis. Um, so uh, uh, here we go. Um, I, I'm going to do a couple of them, all right, because we have two ESPN broadcasts I want to talk about, and then the one Fox. Uh, broadcast that took place. So I'll start off with the Fox broadcast because it was the furthest one away. Uh, that took place on January 26th. Uh, it was uh, in the beginning of the week, and then we never uh, got to do it. Uh, the main event, I rated it a four. I rated the uh, uh, I rated it a four because I, I thought that the main event was action packed. It was a quality matchup and uh, something we need uh, as a main event for televised boxing. So I gave it uh, a four. Uh, as far as uh, uh, as far as the quality of the undercard, I also gave it a four. Uh, this was a tough. Uh, uh, this was tough for me because the matchups were were kind of weak in terms of looking at these matchups on paper. Uh, but as it turned out, uh, the action was nonstop from start to finish on this whole card, uh, which the bottom line is what we want from from boxing overall, not just on TV. Uh, so I, I had to give it a very good. I got another four. Uh, as far as the uh, quality of the crowd and the excitement from the crowd, um, again, I, I give the Fox Sports uh, uh, ranking a, a, a four, a, a very good. The house was packed. Uh, the crowd was on their feet from start to finish. It was clearly a, a very good uh, score. Uh, as far as uh, uh, the uh, officials' performance, they get a satisfactory. That's a three. Uh, nothing stood out negative. Nothing really stood out positive. Uh, they get a three. The commentators, um, they were actually pretty good. Uh, Paulie Malinaji does a great job. He was on doing the Fox broadcast. I would have even given them a very good if it weren't for the blow-by-blow -blow guy. We got another screamer yeller at us, you know, acting like, uh, you know, he's got to describe every single uh, punch that's thrown. Uh, so instead of getting a four, I gave him a three, an average um, uh, satisfactory score. So when you average it out, it totals 18. Uh, which uh, comes out to be 3.6, which gets an overall ranking of very good. That was the Fox One Sports uh, uh, event on January 26th. Now we get to the two Friday night fights, uh, the one from uh, this past Friday night and the one from before. So let's talk about the one from before first. That was uh, on January 30th, later in the week after the Fox Sports. Uh, the uh, quality of the main event, I give it a four. That was uh, uh, Louis Dargan. Uh, it was a perfect level, in my, in my opinion, for a main event, uh, and it lived up to the billing. Not only was it good on paper, but it was an action fight. Uh, it got the right decision. I gave it a four. Uh, as far as the undercard, I gave that a four. Let me explain. Uh, Sullivan Barrera stopped a 100% finished Jeff Lacey, okay? That wasn't great. On paper, it looked good. It, Jeff Lacey showed us that he's a finished fighter. Uh, it, there was a little bit of action, uh, but the, the, the fight that catapulted the undercard from, uh, you know, a satisfactory to a very good was the uh, Thomas Follow-O and Russell Lamore fight. Um, in my opinion, this particular fight, this style of fight, is what the sport of boxing is all about. You had uh, uh, Crosstown Rivals uh, fighting around the same level of where they're at with their careers, and uh, it produced a, a hell of a fight. I scored it uh, as, a, uh, as a four. And finally, the crowd, uh, that also got a four. Uh, the crowd was into this fight from start to finish. Uh, add to it that uh, this place was packed. It, it becomes a no-brainer that I had to score this uh, as a very good. Now, uh, as far as the referees and officials, um, I, I scored it a three. One of the referees missed a clear knockdown, um, which I feel, uh, you know, ruined it. Although uh, the rest of the card and the scores weren't bad, they get a satisfactory, they get a three. And finally, uh, the uh, commentating, um, I, I, I scored it a three. The current ESPN crew has basically evolved into the worst that the ESPN fight series has had. Um, Bernard Asuma, he's much too plastic. His look is plastic. His interviews are plastic. His thoughts are plastic. He's got this fake look on his face all the time. He's just, he, he falls way short. 
Todd Grisham is terrible. This guy shouldn't even be in, in, in around a boxing uh, studio, let alone a boxing ring. Uh, he's not a boxing guy. Neither is, is Bernardo. Um, they're terrible. When you got to look at Teddy, which I did in this particular fight, as being the guy who was the only solid force on this broadcast and carried the broadcast, um, he alone made me score this satisfactory. It gets a three. When you factor it all out, it scores an 18. It's rounded off to a 3.6, uh, which gets an overall rating of very good. Now we jump to the uh, last ESPN broadcast, which was this past Friday night. Uh, on uh, February 6th, um, the main event, I, 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 you know, with M Mora, I, I scored a satisfactory. Um, there's never been, in my opinion, there's never been a fight involving Sergio Mora that was exciting. He's a very boring fighter to watch. He slaps his opponents. He runs around the ring. He holds as much as he can. Uh, Abihan came to fight, but unfortunately, uh, his skill set lacks the, some f the basic fundamentals that would have prevented Sergio Mora from doing uh, what he typically does. But thanks to Abihan trying to fight, uh, the main event ends up with a three. If uh, they had given uh, any other opponent, it may have ended up with an unsatisfactory grade. The undercard featured an up-and-comer in uh, uh, Lubin who performed well against a fighter who came in on one day's notice. Uh, something to think about down the road on both of these guys' sides. Uh, you know, when you look at uh, uh, Eckerd, who came in, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, the, uh, the opponent that came in uh, late, uh, what was his name, uh, um, Michael Finley, you know, you got to give him more credit. If he was prepared, he probably would have done well. And if you look at Lubin not doing as well against a guy with one day's notice, uh, keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, I give uh, the undercard uh, a three. Uh, but the reason wasn't uh, so much that fight. Um, uh, that would have been a higher score. The Ahmed uh, Bali fight was a total mismatch. Um, however, today's boxing made that fight look good on paper. Um, so overall, I, I give that a, a satisfactory grade. Um, in terms of the uh, uh, in terms of the quality of the crowd, it was satisfactory. Nothing uh, great in terms of excitement, uh, but it wasn't. Uh, pin drop quiet either as far as the attendance you know i couldn't really tell based on all the camera shots that we were shown uh it looked like uh well it looked exactly how i scored it satisfactory as far as the officiating and and the uh uh the uh, scores the judges um i scored it on unsatisfactory grade it gets a two bill clancy uh, sorry bill i know you're my friend but uh i feel he should have stopped the abali uh eckard fight way sooner uh i think he put eckard in harm's way when he appeared to be defenseless against the ropes i've never seen a referee let uh, action continue uh prior to letting him forcing that fighter to move forward which he didn't do he was still against the ropes when he let uh, when he let uh, Abali come and, and finish him off. Uh, I think he blew it there. Uh, add the uh, Morahan scoring in, which I think shows... Uh, I, I don't disagree with the fight being close, but I disagree with the judges kind of scoring it from different, uh, uh, you know, order of criteria. Uh, we get the overall score of unsatisfactory. As far as the commentating... That, too, gets an un unsatisfactory score, in my opinion. Teddy Atlas needs to stop his BS when it comes to his subjectivity. Although I can respect his opinion, as most of us do, uh, he needs to stop with the biased commentary. Uh, the fact is that just because he feels one way doesn't make his way right. His way is what his opinion is. We all have our own opinions. Uh, and the fact that Todd Grisham and this new interview guy that they, they dragged in like a cat drags in a dead mouse, uh, it was terrible. It was terrible. The, the only solid guy uh, removing his biasness, if that's a word, is Teddy. Uh, I scored it uh, uh, unsatisfactory. You add it up, it comes out to be 13, which squeaks out. Uh, rounded off an average of overall satisfied. You can look for all of these scores up on uh, BillyCBoxing.com uh, tomorrow. Uh, it'll be updated uh, sometime uh, before the afternoon.